Love and Life's journey. I'm Chantelle. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, stick around a while, and also hit that bell so that YouTube will notify you when I upload new videos. So before we get into today's project, I just want to mention again about my merchandise. I have uh, different products available with my logo and I have two different logos. Um, this one is the brown with the peach butterfly and then there's another one that is a uh, blue, kind of a denim blue color and uh, that was in the shirt that I wore on my Look For Less Challenge video that I posted last Thursday. If you didn't see that, I will put that in the card above so you can check that out after you watch this video. And just one note about the sizing on these, the t-shirts seem to fit pretty much true to size, but the hoodies are running, it looks like a little bit large. So if you like a large baggy sweatshirt, then order your size. If you like it to fit a little more form fitting or tighter, then maybe size down. There is a promo code for 20% off your order and that is in the description box below as well as the link. And you can also see all those products on my merch shelf that is directly below this video. So check those out. So the DIY I have for you today is a kind of a wall art project. I started out as a little miniature herb garden and uh, I really thought that was cute, but I also came up with another variation um, just using the faux succulents from Dollar Tree. So um, it's kind of a farmhouse look and I thought it turned out really cute. So let's just jump right in and I'll show you what I came up with. So here is the little miniature herb garden and I say it's miniature because these pots are really small. They are the ones that the faux succulents come in from Dollar Tree. So it's more like a little nursery and when the plants get bigger you probably want to transplant them. But let me show you how I put these together. For this I picked up three of these little picture frames from Dollar Tree with the galvanized backing and the little clip. And I had these pots from the faux succulents that you get at Dollar Tree and I've been wondering what to use them for. I've used the succulents for other projects so that's uh, what I decided to use for this project. I'll also be using a package of these little chalkboard wooden stakes from Dollar Tree as well as some picture hangers and I think I picked these up at Walmart. And then I'll be using some E6000 and my hot glue gun. First, I'm just going to take the picture frames and remove the stand off of the back. You just want to pull this off carefully and it should pop right off. Then I'm going to take my picture hangers and I'm going to um, use some E6000 and my hot glue just to attach this to the top of the back of the picture frame and I just measure and find the center just to get that centered. So I'm putting the E6000 on to give it a strong bond and then I'm adding a little bit of my hot glue just to help that to hold right away so that it will stay in place while the E6000 is drying. So I often use these faux succulents from Dollar Tree for craft projects and that leaves me with the pot that it came out of because I save these and I wasn't sure what to do with them so I decided to use these for this project and I'm just removing the styrofoam out of the pot. You could just use a butter knife or any other tool that you can slip down inside there just to pull it out. Next I will be gluing the pot onto the galvanized metal part with just some E6000 and hot glue. And I will repeat this with all three of the pots. Then I'm going to take these chalkboard wood stakes from Dollar Tree. I was so excited when I saw these in the store. And I'm just going to pop off the stick off the back and I just did this carefully and it popped right off. 
You could use regular chalk to write on these, but I decided to use a chalk marker and I really like the way these write. I think I picked this up at Michael's and we used them for my daughter's wedding, but uh, they just write a little brighter and they don't rub off log like chalk, although um, it is a little bit more permanent. Um, you can use a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser to get this off of the chalkboards after it's been on for a while. So there's a little tip that we found. And I'm just writing uh, the names of the herbs that I'm going to be planting in these little pots on these little signs. Next, I'm going to add some potting soil to my little pots and plant my herbs in there. Once it's all finished, I just hang it in a sunny place where it will get a good amount of sunshine and because these pots are pretty small you have to remember to water them fairly often but I just think these are so cute and like I said once they start growing a fair amount probably would want to replant these in a bigger pot um, so this is just a little mini herb nursery and I think it's adorable So if you don't want to have a little herb garden or you don't have a green thumb, which honestly I really don't, but here's an alternative. So those little faux succulents from Dollar Tree, just go ahead and use those. Now you could put them on there the way they are in the pots, but I don't like the looks of the styrofoam. So I pulled mine out. And I'm just going to add some of this moss. This is actually from Walmart because for some reason my Dollar Tree doesn't think they need to carry green moss. It's always brown. And so I picked this green moss up at Walmart. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that green moss and hot glue it to the top of that styrofoam just to cover that up and make it look a little bit more natural. And then I'm going to glue that succulent back into the pot and this will just kind of give it a little bit more of a of a natural and finished look then for my little signs instead of writing the names of herbs on them i am going to write home sweet home and again i'm using the uh, chalk marker that i picked up at michael's and uh, you could write anything you want on these. I'm doing home sweet home. You could write live, laugh, love, um, or any, anything else that you'd like to put on these just to personalize it. And then to finish these off, I just attach the signs to those little clips right above the succulents. And here's the finished project. I love this. I just think it is so cute. It was so easy to put together and um, you can personalize it and hang it in any way that you want to. You can just make one uh, or uh, make a set like this. I, I just am really happy with how this turned out. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so that YouTube will notify you when I upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.